Hey gang, Bill Dragu here with ADV Moto Magazine. I am in the parking garage uh, where we have about 20 Triumph 1200 Tigers. We're at uh, the launch of the new Tiger here in Portugal. And today was road day. We uh, enjoyed about uh, a little under 200 miles of uh, some of the twistiest pavement I've ridden in a while. Uh, just consistently twisty on a motorcycle that's really built for that. Is this motorcycle the BMW killer? Is this the one that's gonna knock the big GS off of its pedestal? I think that's the question looming in everybody's mind. And it's premature for me to make a, a firm statement about that, but I will say that it's bringing a lot to the show. Spike is uh, almost 150 horsepower. It's lighter than the big GS. Uh, even though it's a triple, that normal Singer sewing machine uh, zinging that you, you might be familiar with from the triples that is sort of undesirable to dirt riders like me, uh, it's gone. It's not there. The T-plane motor, uh, the newest iteration of this motor, has a 132 firing order. It creates a 180 degree span between the uh, one and the three uh, stroke, and then it goes to two 270 degree rotations as it fires the next two strokes. And then it goes back and repeats that 132, 132, 132, almost like a waltz, I suppose, only with the three and the two being reversed from their positions. But it makes for a, for a good sounding motor and a, what feels like it's gonna be a tractable motor off-road. On the road, uh, very linear power uh, from the bottom in the uh, bottom of the bucket all the way until it's it's wrung out. The motor pulls really, really strong. You find yourself running about a gear taller on this motorcycle than uh, than uh, you might think that you would do on a motorcycle that's normally considered a, a, a revy type engine. The um, uh, 21 and 18 wheel combination on the rally versions. There's the Rally Pro and the Rally Explorer. The, um, that's an unusual wheel combination. You know, there are a couple of, of uh, manufacturers who have used 21 inch wheels on the, the front of their uh, big bore adventure bikes, but it's still a, an up and coming thing. And we'll see how that works on the, on the dirt. Uh, it is a little bit heavier handling with the 21 inch versus the 19 inch uh, I noticed on the uh, Rally versus on the GT um, models. And not a whole lot, but it's there. It, it is noticeable. The GT is a little quicker steering on the roads. Uh, both of these bikes handle extremely well on the road. They're, the, the motorcycle's about two inches longer, uh, 61 some inches uh, long versus 59 in its uh, counterpart in the BMW. And you can tell that they've really gone after that bike. You can see the frame is kind of that trestle style frame that um, the BMW uses also. It's a beautiful frame. In fact, the uh, entire appointments on this motorcycle are just very, very nice. The exhaust is slim. The bike is overall quite slim, something that uh, BMW riders are not used to. It's, it's kind of the, the big rhinoceros of the bunch, but it's a very nimble rhinoceros. So Triumph has their work cut out for them, but it appears they have done a good job with this bike. I will be doing a full report uh, in my articles and uh, we'll get that out to you just as soon as we possibly can. So stay tuned for more and uh, hang around for tomorrow whenever we uh, get our off-road ride. Thanks.